Measuring your bra size is all about knowing your under bust measurement and your over bust measurement. For this exercise, you will need a tape measure. Put on your best fitting non padded underwear bra. You want an underwear bra to support the breasts and keep them upright when measuring them. Moreover, you want a non padded bra so that you get an accurate measurement. If you wear a padded bra, your measurements will be skewed upwards because of the padding. Next, you have to measure the band size. Take the tape measure and wrap it around your back right under your bust. Think rib cage level. Hold the tape measure firmly using both sides, ensuring it is neither too tight nor loose. Ensure the tape measure lies flat on the skin and goes across the back. Where the tape measure meets is your band size. From our results, the band size was 30 inches. If you have an odd number, round it up. For example, if you find that you are 40.5 inches, round it up to 41. On the same note, if you have a 38 or below inch, add 2. For example, in our case, the size was 30 inches. We'll add 2 inches so that it becomes 32. Slide the tape to the fullest part of the bust. The tape should be snug but not tight. If you get an odd number, round it up. From our results, the bust size was 35.3 inches, which we rounded up to 36 inches. The cap size is the difference between the bust size and the band size. In our case, the bust size 36 inches minus the band size 32 inches leaves us with 4 inches. After getting your results, refer to the following chart for your bra size. In our case, the bust size was 36 inches and the band size was 32 inches. Therefore, the difference is 4 inches. When you look at the chart, 4 inches is a D cup. Therefore, the size of a bra is 36 D. And that's how you measure your bra size. Click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more bra fitting tips.